Hey, you want to know something? What if I told you there's something out there for you to build an entire blockchain application using good old JavaScript? Don't believe me? Okay, kind of hurts a little bit, but um, I guess I'll just have to show you, okay? But don't go anywhere and let's talk about a blockchain development platform called Lisk for a minute. If you're new here, I'm Stefan, and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers get into Web3. <laughs> All right, so first, if you're totally new to blockchain, tiptoeing into the Web3 world, let's briefly go over why blockchain exists in the first place. It is its fundamental principle that makes it so appealing. A chain of validated information that no central authority can control, an immutable, massive collection of data shared between all participants with an unparalleled level of transparency, making it very difficult to hack. In other words, with blockchain, you own your data, no centralized entity can control it. You create a record that can be altered and is encrypted end to end, which helps prevent fraud and unauthorized activity. Now, not all blockchains are fully decentralized quite yet, but we're getting there. Blockchain is still very young. Now, that's all beautiful and all, but if you are a Web2 developer and want to make it into Web3, it can be challenging, especially because there are a ton of new things to learn. On top of that, financing a Web3 project is not that easy. And also, because blockchain is so young, your application is constrained to operate in a siloed environment, isolated from other blockchains that don't speak the same language as the blockchain you chose. That's where Lisk enters the scene. Blockchain doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need to learn a complete different language. If you already know a little bit of JavaScript or TypeScript, there you go. Also, you should have all the tools you need under one roof and not use a buttload of third parties application. And that's where the Lisk SDK comes along. The Lisk SDK is an open source software development kit which enables developers like you to build scalable blockchain applications in JavaScript. In this software development kit, you will find a collection of libraries to build functionalities into your blockchain application, also known as Lisk Elements. And you also get Lisk Commander, which is a powerful command line interface to communicate with a remote or local node in order to access and utilize Lisk-related functionalities, such as bootstrapping a blockchain application, decrypting or encrypting passphrases or messages, creating new accounts, things like that. Now, let's highlight what you can do with this kit. You can code in JavaScript or TypeScript, as we saw. You can have each one of your blockchain applications run on its own customized blockchain. Now, that's quite powerful, isn't it? You can imagine having a project that functions through the collective work of separate applications, each one doing something very precise, like Legos interlocking to each other to build something bigger. But then each one of those applications need to run on a blockchain with specific configurations, different from the others. So having the freedom to customize the blockchain of each individual parts of your grand application, that's a big deal. And you can do it with this SDK. Another advantage of this dev kit is that you can benefit from Lisk consensus algorithms, namely delegated proof of stake and Lisk Byzantine fault tolerance. Delegated proof of stake means that every Lisk holder can vote for delegates. And depending on these votes, Certain delegates are allowed to add blocks to the blockchains in a certain order. And Byzantine fault tolerance means that because of multiple chains ending up valid due to network delays, the protocol uses a special consensus votes to indicate what a forging delegate believes to be the correct block at a given height. It's a provable type of consensus, meaning that a miner can be sure that he follows the correct chain. With this SDK, you can also configure, exchange, or extend any of your application's logic with modules, assets, and plugins. It provides you with development tools like the list commander, as mentioned earlier, a dashboard plugin, and testing utilities. Not to mention, it will soon allow your application to be interoperable with other blockchain applications by registering it as a sidechain on the Lisk main chain. But that's coming in the future. So there is a lot that you get out of the box. And a good way to get your feet wet would be to check out their very nice tutorials. You get one for NFTs, one for a social recovery system, and one for Lisk name service. So definitely check it out. But if you want to kick things off right away, let me demonstrate. First, make sure that your operating system is supported. 
Lisk support uh, two versions of Ubuntu and four versions of macOS. It does not officially come supported for Windows. Next, to run the SDK, we're going to need three dependencies Git, Node.js, and Lisk Commander. If you don't have Git installed, you can check out the website and you'll find instructions for Linux, macOS, and Windows. Next, if you don't have Node.js, you can install it with NVM like so. Next we're going to install Lisk Commander. npm install globally Lisk Commander. Now let's create a new repo. And let's initiate Lisk. From there, you'll be asked a few questions like the name, description, the author, and the license of your application. So the name, let's say my app, the description, it's a cool app, the author, it's me, and the license, I don't know. Now we wait and Lisk is going to create all the required files. Now, if you run into an error that it cannot find the module Oakleaf slash command. What I suggest is that you do an npm install from that point. Then you init lisk again. It's gonna say that there's a package is in conflict. You just override it and you should be good to go. And now we just need to start the blockchain application. Bin run start. And there you go. Now the application has enabled forging for all Genesis delegates. And it will add new blocks to the blockchain every 10 seconds. So pretty cool. If you want to deep dive into the SDK details, go check the documentation. You'll find the quick start, the, the application CLI, the application configuration, all things related to actions and events. And as we said before, you'll find the modules, the plugins, and Lisk elements, front-end and back-end. Now let's get inspired and see what developers have been building with the Lisk SDK. You can build NFT-related applications like NFT, a decentralized social media NFT platform, or like RGB, a community-driven NFT creation platform. But maybe you're more into the metaverse and VR, that kind of stuff. Well, we can mention Topa City, an immersive VR world. We can also mention Fate, a metaverse engine used to create, secure, and access the Fate metaverse. Or maybe you want to have a better impact on the world like DoEdu, an educational platform. Or Bazaar, a decentralized marketplace for sustainably sourced products. Really, whatever industry you are, whatever you want to build. It can be powered by Lisk. Now, all the blockchain applications I just mentioned are actually being founded by the Lisk grant program. The Lisk grant program is offered by the Lisk Foundation to support apps built with the Lisk SDK and expand the Lisk ecosystem. You can receive 60,000 Swiss francs, which is about 63,000 US dollars or 62,000 euros to get your project going and about 1,000 for your project setup. You also receive about 4,000 for your minimum viable product, 30,000 for the actual development and 25,000 for the launch. And on top of that, Lisk also provides you with tech support. On the Lisk webpage, you can find all information for the grant with application requirements, application overview and the categories that have the biggest chance to get founded. There's already been a few waves of blockchain application selection since July 2021 up until August 2022. You can check if a wave is currently open and fill the Lisk grant program application form. You can also get help, support, or just connect with the Lisk community, of course. Lisk often organizes events all around the world, like Switzerland, Germany, the US, Singapore, and the UK. You can see their announcements on Twitter and on the website. You can check out their community websites, and of course, you can reach them on multiple social media like Discord, Twitter, Telegram, YouTube, Reddit, LinkedIn, Facebook, GitHub, and CoinMarketCap. Discord might probably be the best option. You can directly interact with Lisk support, the community, as well as the teams that receive the Lisk grant. As I record this video, 
LISC has reached the sapphire phase of its roadmap, which is a very important phase because it is about achieving communication between different LISC blockchains, aka interoperability. And if you go a little bit further down on the roadmap webpage, you'll also get more details on all LISC products. So there you go. If you're looking to build a scalable blockchain application in JavaScript or TypeScript and want to be part of a growing community of Web3 developers, Lisk is for you. I strongly encourage you to learn more about Lisk SDK and do the tutorials. They put together a great documentation for you to quick start building blockchain applications and find anything you need. Hopefully you like this video. Let us know in the comment section what you would like to build with Lisk. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.